On Tuesday, March 19th, the Bank of Japan raised interest rates for the first time in 17 years, finally moving away from negative short-end rates. Now, this enormous paradigm shift comes after several high-profile headlines suggested that major Japanese companies are finally issuing broad pay raises to keep up with inflation and to attract talent. Now, what's interesting is that the yen versus the dollar traded decisively lower, not higher, on news of the rate hikes. Perhaps this is a market realization that one rate hike does not necessarily suggest the beginning of an aggressive cycle. Now, the latest Japanese GDP data released on March 11th showed a narrow escape from a technical recession, which gave traders some confidence that the economy was strong enough to handle slightly higher rates. But on the other side of the equation, there are still questions that need to be answered regarding the trajectory of the Chinese economy and how it relates to Japan. Now, for the last 30 years, Japan's CPI has averaged just 0.3% far below the average of the rest of the industrialized world, including the U.S., which has averaged 2.5%. Perhaps that statistic is why many analysts believed that the BOJ was more than willing to seize the opportunity of 2020 supply shocks to add stimulus and move to negative rates in order to break the shackles of decades of deflation worries.